Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So it's Tuesday, and it seems to have become official now. This is going to be the day when we get our update for Medieval Engineers. So let's actually have a look at what we're getting our hands on today. So first off, let's open up the game menu and have a look at some gameplay options. Now you're going to notice we have sun settings and fog settings here. So exactly what do these do? Now first off, we have the rotation of the sun in relevation to the actual planet asteroid we're actually on. So you can see how we've got the houses and the shadows around them rotating around the object, looking absolutely beautiful. And when this comes into a full day and night cycle, this is going to be really good. It just helps you highlight your creations at the moment. We've also got the elevation, so if we bring it up to the right, you can see we've got a more of in a mid-high range of the sun, so you've got very short, tight shadow, like a midday sun. And if we bring it down, you get an evening or morning sort of sun that drags the shadows out across the landscape, making it look really beautiful. And combining these settings together, you can create some really nice immersive environments. Now, let's have a look at the fog settings. So the fog settings here can be used to create your fog. So we've got the multiplayer and we've got the actual density here. So you can see the density of the fog. Now the fog doesn't really come into its own until you activate night mode, in my opinion. So as you can see, we've got night mode here and we're going to turn the intensity of this, well, the moon in this case, a little bit up. You can also see we can change the angle of the moonlight. So you can see how it's casting gently over them rocks. You can also change the direction. You've got tree shadows in the distance. Not too much effect at night, but still it's nice to have a mess around with. So we can disable that back again. And you can see how we can mess with the fog. We can make it even more dense if we wish. So we just multiply that up. And I like my fog a little bit more grey. I don't know about you. So we can actually try to look for that combination without making it too purpley. And there we go. We'll increase that density up to maximum. And we could actually have a really creepy sort of city feel here. Maybe some zombie invasion sort of style crazy stuff. And then if we turn the intensity down even further, we get that even more creepy effect. But it's just there's too much fog at the moment. We're going to have to... Decrease the amount of fog, and let's just see what exactly we can do here. So yeah, we can decrease the fog, so we've got this nice foggy looking environment, but at the same time we can see the buildings around us, so this could be an early morning in this small village. Just, just a really cool effect to actually have a look at. Now let's move on to having a look at some player tools. So we're now deep in the forest to actually have a look at some of the player weapons. So if we press G and we go to character tools, we can actually see we've got a torch, we have a hammer, and we have a mace. So what can these actually do? So we'll equip the torch and you can see how the torch is actually giving us a radius of light around us. So if we're venturing through a dark forest at night or trying to discover some sort of hidden tunnels or catacombs, this torch is going to be extremely useful. Now, it can't be used as a weapon. I can't hit with it. I can't set things on fire. Maybe maybe a hint for the future. Maybe burning down some castles with the torch would be absolutely amazing. So you can see as we venture into the darkness of this cave, we can use the torch to light up the area around us. So let's actually turn daylight back on, turn night mode off, and we'll equip one of the first weapons. So the first weapon we're gonna actually have a look at is the hammer, and I think we need to show its destructive potential on one of these guard towers here. So as we approach the guard tower, we're gonna drop back down with our feet enabled, and we're gonna give it a good smash. And as you can see, structural integrity is not enabled on this building. So we'll have to smash another bit and break them blocks slowly away. So this is just another cool way of breaking them awesome environments. So you can see how that snaps down and the guard tower just crumbles to just splinters of wood, really. Just a really cool little concept. And we have also got a mace that doesn't really serve a construction purpose. And neither does the hammer at the moment, but I'm sure that'll be used to construct and the mace will be used more as a weapon. This is the same thing that the bots are actually armed with. Talking about bots, let's spam some in and have a look at some of them. So as we place these in here, there we go, spread them out a little bit more. You'll notice that the hammer can actually kill them in one. So if I get a good swing like so, I can give them a good smashing and defeat them. But if I right click, I get this blocking animation. Now, this is pretty interesting. This says something to me in combat. There'll be a way of blocking attacks from other players. So that's going to be pretty cool. Let's actually have a smash of this guy, bring him back over here. Good direct hit gets rid of these barbarians. I like that. And there we go. And we've got one more to get rid of. Come back here, you. Give him a good smash. There we go. And we managed to defeat the first wave of barbarians that's actually come against us instead of having to flee in terror from them. Talking about barbarians, there has been a final feature that's been added. Now, it is capable of modding these guys, so this is something you want to take into consideration. So as we access our physics primitives and other settings here, we can actually go to bot settings and we can enable the settings on the bot. You can see as the dead here. And we can scroll through the bots as well as program our own sort of AI into them if you're interested in that sort of department. 
Now the final thing I want to show you is some of the new construction blocks, some of the blocks that are added to the game, but first off let's actually take off the fog, bring up the sun so we can actually have a look at what we're building. So first off we're going to show you some of the new arches, so if we just bring that area across like so and we place a block across the top we're going to build ourselves a nice little archway. Now, as you can see, if we come over here, you're going to notice we've got this new stone half arch. So let's actually click that, and you'll notice that there's a number of variations of it. So if we actually scroll through, we've got ones to fit every side of this archway, like so. So we can rotate this around and click that in place with the middle mouse wheel. And if we want to make a double archway, for instance, on this side, we've got that possibility as well. So we can just rotate it around, and we can do some finishing touches with these stone pillars, clip them into place, like so and then rotate them a little bit further around perhaps, and we can have them also on that side as well. Just making your constructions look a lot more exciting, it'd be perfect for a sort of church sort of doorway. Now, the other little stone that's been added is the additions to the staircase block. So these are actually stone corners. So these are corners to the staircase block, and these come in a whole variety of variations. So we've got an up sort of triangular side piece, we have got more of a square triangular side piece, and we've also got a round staircase. Now, this could be perfect for building them water fountains of your dreams. I, I know I like to build the water fountains sort of features, so we could bring them in here. That would be really cool, especially if, if water ever gets added. This will be a water fountain block for me. It would be, be amazing just to have water pouring down the side of it. But anyway, maybe that's in a future update. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I've covered quite a lot of the things that are in the update today, and I really want to hear what you guys have to think. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.